Get on my my name's Friedrich Emil and today, folks it's Sal McHiggins back at it again and today well we are Oh my god Sal stop stealing the camera from me I'm sorry Friedrich but I had to do it one last time Welcome today to Mar 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 March Mammal Madness March Mammal Madness March Mammal Madness With free actually really beautiful and well it didn't actually take that long so that's great anyways what we've got today is round two of March Mammal Madness as you just heard from that awesome intro created by our one and only Sal McHiggins and well now I think it would be a great time for us to just take a moment to honor uh, some of our picks from last round. There were 22 that I got correct, but there were 10 that did not move on. Um, and basically, yeah, we're going to show you a slideshow composed with some very soulful music by my good friend EJ Money. And, well, let's just take a moment to remember those. Our fallen friends. Fallen mammals. Thank you. You've got an egg, you died in a bathroom Y'all were taken from us too soon We got a Patagonia Namara And a Malagasy striped civet Even a flying squirrel And y'all are pearls in my mind The demon of theater and the bad melody Mazar sector, na 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 noobies, na 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 noobies. I can't believe that they would do this to you. Then we've got the Brussels Griffin and the Thorny Devil. And I'll never settle for something worse than you. And we miss you, we love you. And we respect you today. This song is brought to you by EJ. All right, we're back. So that means it's time for round two. This video is going to be significantly shorter than the last video because we have half the participants and that's all we want. Simple math, easy math, pure math. Half is less than whole. Thank you. All right. So let's start things right off with the dugong versus the Ayudad. That is what I'm talking about. We got the dugong and the Ayudad. Well, technically the Ayudad is wrong already. And it should be the musk, musk deer. So we're going to go with the dugong because we have no idea. Dugong, strong. Next up we've got... Uh, well, this one's kind of awkward because I'm definitely going to get it wrong. But it's the Egyptian fruit bat versus the Solanodon. But I picked both the wrong ones in this situation. So I was forced to pick the wrong one. But between those two, I think I'd probably have to go with that fruit bat. I mean, I remember I went against it, and it 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 responded to me with a Darth Vader quote. And a Darth Vader quote is really, really good. So, Egyptian fruit bat, this one's for you. Good work, Commander. Next up, we've got the Jaguarundi versus the Mountain Taipir. And as intimidating as Jaguarundi sounds, as intimidating as it does... I'm inclined to go with none other than the mountain tapir. I do have to go with it. It's a mountain tapir, man. It's on the mountain and it's a tapir. I love a mountain tapir. Anyways, next up we've got a Mara. Well, that's what I chose. Actually, it's the Tarsier versus the Red Wolf. You heard the wolf howl in the video last video. And well, the Red Wolf just does not like to be trifled with. 
or truffled with, as Michael Scott would say. I am not to be truffled with. Next up, we've got a red kangaroo versus a red crested tree rat. Last time I did not choose that, I chose the flying squirrel. But either way, red kangaroo! Red kangaroo for the boys back home. There we go. Next up, we've got a red brocket versus a maroon langu. I chose the langu. And, well, because it's a monkey and I still don't know what a red brocket is, I chose it last time and it won. Maybe it's not the best idea to bet against a red brocket, but we're going to go with the maroon langu. Next up, we've got the red fox versus the bay cat. Two crisp names. I love red foxes. I love bay cats. The question is, which one is better? And, well, when it comes to foxes versus cats, I want to choose the fox, but the bay cat, I think, is really menacing. And like I said, tiger lineage trumps red fox. No, uh, trumps is a word that's not related to the person who you might think I'm referring to. You're fired. Anyway, next up, we've got a red-necked pad melon. Oh, let's take an extra moment of silence for the pad melon. We love you, pad melon. I chose it because it was from Australia, but the lima beat it. But anyway, we are going to get revenge because I am sure that the Red Hearted Beast is going to do it for us. Red Hearted Beast, you kick that lemur's butt. I'm sorry, that was aggressive and I didn't mean it that way. Uh, don't kick it too harshly. Just don't be that mean to the... It's okay. Heart of Beast for the win. Let's go. Next up on the other side, we have got the Midgardia Sea Star versus the Yeti Crab. And when we put the two and two together, I'm going with the Midgardia Sea Star, which apparently may or may not have any relations with the Norse mythology location. And Norse mythology, Thor, Loki, Odin, we go on with the sea star. Next up, we've got the Platazilla versus the Demon Earth Eater. Demon Earth Eater did not win last time, and apparently it's not just a Demon Earth Eater. It's a, derm, a Demon Earth Eater sit, chick, sit, sit, cichlid, cichlid. I don't know what it is. Either way, it doesn't matter. The Platazilla's winning this round. Let me tell you something. The Platazilla will not be beat. Australian heritage. Next up, we've got the black dragonfish versus the vampire squid. As much as the dragonfish and squid both seem really cool, I think we're going to go with the vampire squid. Vampires, I think, are going to beat the dragon. That seems actually kind of counterintuitive. I mean, it is a fish versus a squid, right? Fish versus squid, I think we're going to go with the squid. Next up, we've got a pink vent fish. Oh, actually, not really a pink vent fish. The pink vent fish did win, but last time we chose the laid action snail, even though it's not an action snail, it's actually just a laid, it's like, not, you know what I mean? We chose the laid action snail last time, but it was wrong, and the pink vent fish won, but it's facing the saber tooth anchovy, and you know what, I'm not betting on the, whatever this is, a fish, it's a saber tooth anchovy, cybers beat fish. Yeah, I can get like three fish on my saber. Right saber. Next, we've got a... Yeah, unfortunately, the this one's another tough one for me because I picked the Brussels griffin and the Masrosected Nananubis. I realized I was pronouncing that wrong last video. But yeah, I picked those and now the Masrosector is what I have to choose. But between the Ifrit and the Cryptkeeper Wasp, I would actually go with the Wasp. I don't think it's going to be madder. It's going to matter, though, because in the third round, they're going to be taking on a chimpanzee. Yes, I choose chimpanzee over Sphinx Monkey. It's a name. It's a no-brainer. Chimpanzee's going to mess up whatever wins that second round. Next up, we've got the Devil Frog versus the Picardo's Jumping Viper. And once again, it's a jumping viper. It's a jumping viper. We're going with the viper. Next up, we've got a thorny devil versus a harpy eagle. Uh, technically, it's actually the ghost bat is what's going up, but it's a harpy eagle. Go, Diego, go. Go, Diego, go. Diego. I need an echo. There we go. That was pretty incredible. That's all for tonight. Oh, it's... That's all for this afternoon. 7 minutes, 23 seconds is the video that this is right now. Apparently. I mean, I guess, including all the other edits and stuff that's about to happen. Well, it's probably going to be longer. And I'm only lengthening it by just pushing off the intro here. But always remember that... The burgers are better at Hungry Jack's. Thank you.